Okay, that was a little bit of rock and roll on the banjo. And uh, not too many people play that tune anymore. Um, probably not a lot of people have heard it unless they're a real Don Reno fan. It was on an album called um, Magnificent Bluegrass Band. I think that was the album it was on, I'm pretty sure. Um, it was in the mid-70s, uh, and Don was recording for CMH quite a bit. Um, and I always liked the tune, and in our band we try to do as many tunes as we can that not too many people play anymore, and of course that usually is mostly Reno and Smiley stuff. So Memphis seemed like a good tune to play to me, and like I said, I've always enjoyed it because I'm a rock and roll fan anyway. And, um, of course, like I said, he called it Memphis Five String. And it's, uh, he, he, it's based off the tune Memphis by Chuck Berry. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this up here in your G chord. And we're going to brush on the third and second strings. Okay. And the key to Memphis five string is to is just to get the bounce right. Okay, and you kind of want to bounce, let off the strings there. It's kind of like a chop. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm brushing down on the third and second strings, holding this G chord. Coming up on the ninth fret on the third string, still holding down this note from the G chord. And brushing down on both strings. Alright, and I'm coming over here. Ninth fret, tenth fret, that's the seventh note. Back to the ninth fret. And what I'm doing here is I'm doing a little up and down lick. You'll watch my right hand here. Back to the fourth string on the ninth fret. It's all out of this G chord. Okay. It's really not that difficult, but um, just kind of, uh, you just got to get used to doing the brush and getting the, the rhythm down. Then it goes to a D chord, and what we're going to do is the exact same thing, except instead of this partial G, we're going to be doing a D. But we're going to use those same positions on the ninth and 10th fret, and on the 4th string, ninth fret. So, here's your D. Okay, you got to kind of reach over there and grab that with your pinky. And I'm keeping this on your second second string on the seventh fret. It's part of your your D chord. It's the only difference in this D part. Back to your G. To your C up here, we're gonna do the same thing. Back to your G. Okay, and that very last bit, I'm doing a little bit more back and forth with the thumb and the first finger. I'm doing a hammer on uh, from the eighth to the ninth fret on the fourth string. Okay, and follow it up with that little tag lick. Rolling forward on the fifth to the second to the first. And uh, noting the second fret on the fourth string, rolling forward. It's all forward. So I'll play that whole first break for you. Now I'll play a little slower. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, 
it's not too hard. Uh, it's just a matter of practice, just like anything. So don't get discouraged with it. It's just a matter of getting that rhythm in there. Okay, and you can vary it a little bit too, and I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, basically, that's the first uh, break that Don takes on it, and it's the same thing over and over as far as the chord progression goes. And Don does a little different break, like this. Okay, and what this is, is I'm hammering on to the second to the third fret on the second string. And this is a real important uh, part in Don's playing. Don uses a lot of pinches for things. So, and and look at my my right hand. I'm doing uh, doing it with my my starting with my index finger or my first finger. See, all of that's pinches. Okay, let's do that again. A little pause there. What I'm doing is I'm hammering on to the second to the third on the second string, and then I'm coming over here on the second fret on the first string to this uh, third fret. Following off with third to the second fret on the third string. So I'll do that slow. See how I'm pinching those strings, the third, uh, actually, I'm pinching the fifth and first, and then the third and first at the same time. Okay, and he does that twice. Okay, and now right here, he does a couple of more pinches. And I want to point this out right here. Don does this particular pinch uh, a certain way. He, he always does this like this. He's pinching fifth and first, then he's hitting the second string open, and then the fifth and first again. Okay, Don usually always does his pinches like that, the little filler uh, pinches in between uh, his, his breaks. So... Second part of this goes. All right, that's the second string I'm hitting open there before I slide into this D. Okay, and Don uses this D a lot. You've probably heard that on a lot of tunes, especially follow the leader or later versions of it. All right, so. Second string open, slide into this D chord, and what I'm doing is I'm it's this is your bar D, but I'm leaving the first string open. Okay, and I'm just rolling forward. All right, I'll play all of that again. Okay, this point it goes back to G, and we're going to do the same chord position that Don uses in Dill Pickle Rag. Alright, and that's the first or the fifth fret on the first and second strings, using this finger to bar across, and then the seventh fret on the third string. I'm sure you heard this before. Okay, but. 
in uh, Memphis five string. All right, you go back to the G. Now we're gonna go to the C chord and we're gonna do this chord position. Don uses this a lot. He uses this in um, a lot of backup behind fiddle players, especially when they're doing a shuffle. Okay. And what this chord position is, we're gonna. This is playing against a C. It's a C. Uh, it's, you're gonna be on the fifth fret on the third string, third fret on the second string, first or second fret on the first string. So. All right, and you can move this anywhere on the neck when you're wanting to play in G chord. Make sure that your ring finger is on uh, the finger that you, or the fret that you would bar across to play the chord you're in. So if you want to play that uh, chord against the G, you would say, well, this is the 12th fret. I want to start that chord on the 12th fret. A chord. So on and so forth. So anyway... I'm telling you these things so that you'll you'll start thinking on your own. Well, hey, I could put this in in different tunes, and it'd also help you figure out some other don, others other tunes of Don's, um, like Cincinnati Rag, things like that. So, um, don't just stick your mind in in this one song. Try to think outside the box a little bit on it. Um, you'll find that in a lot of Don's tunes, he, he recycles a lot of the same things um, and puts different ideas, or the same ideas in different songs, rather. But anyway, on Memphis here, we're going to D, G, C. And I'm following up that forward roll. second and third string it's almost like a backward roll backwards roll right at the end of it so all right and then we're going to come up to this g seventh that's your g chord here there's your seventh note I'm walking this G seventh chord straight back to this D, this G chord. So and what I'm doing here is I'm brushing on the third and the second strings and then uh, the first and second strings or the second and first strings. So slide into it. So yeah, I'm brushing the third and second there, then the second and first. Back to this same chord. And then I'm going to end up on... I'm brushing down on the uh, first and second strings out of this G chord. On the eighth and ninth fret. So, and right here I'm going to come back up to the third and second strings and catch this note on the ninth fret. I, I know I'm moving this finger, but I'm not really doing that for any reason. It's involuntary. <laughs> so. Just a habit. I can keep it down there, so. And what I'm doing is I'm brushing up here on the ninth fret the third and second strings while holding down this G chord. I'm not mashing it flat. I'm holding down the ninth and the eighth fret. So, and then I'm, I'm coming back and forth between the third and second strings and the second and first strings like this. end up on the first and second or the second and first strings okay 
let me play that whole uh, break for you. Okay, and that's two different breaks that Don does on it. Now we're going to do another one that Don did, and this is borrowed directly from Charlotte Breakdown. It'll sound familiar to you if you've heard Charlotte Breakdown. Not the original version, but his later versions. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to be uh, fretting the fifth fret on this first string and the eighth fret on the second string. Okay, and what, what that is, is it's all the same notes. So it's a G note. Okay, and what we're going to do is... Um, okay, it sounds kind of crazy but it sounds good up to speed. So we're going to hold down this G. I like to slide into it. And I like to do a little pinch there. Don didn't do that, but I think it sounds good. You can roll, just keep rolling forward if you want to. But what I'm doing is I'm rolling forward. And then when the song goes to D, we're going to come up here on the, um, what fret is that? <laughs> 15th fret, and back here on the 12th fret. So we're in D there, but we're still going to hit this G note, your fifth, your fifth uh, string there. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to come up from there, we're going to come back all the way up to here, which is the same notes as here. This is your G, G chord here. Same as up here. Alright. Alright, and then we're going to come back, when the song goes to C, we're going to come back over here, and what we're doing is we're grabbing these two seventh notes that are in the C chord. It'll be your eighth fret on the first string, and your eleventh fret on the second string. Okay, and like I said, I like to do a pinch there. But you can do whatever you want. You can hold that down. So anyway, this is how this break sounds. And I like to come down when I'm switching to the different positions. I like to come down with the thumb. This is what I do here, and I'm pinching with the first and uh, I'm pinching the first and second strings with my um, first and third finger. All right, and then we're going to finish off with this same. Okay, I'll do that again slow. Okay, and that's uh, three versions of it. Um, Don also did another break where he did a single string break. Uh, let me see if I can remember it here.
okay. And then he goes back into that part of the second break we took. And this uh, single string break is, it's so simple it's hard. It's, it's hard to get the single string notes right. But uh, this is how it goes. And all I'm doing is I'm going back and forth from the third to second fret to open on the first string. And then I'm coming up on the third fret on the third string to the second fret to open. And there's that pinch again. hit this note on the second fret on the second string and then back to okay so that single string break isn't too hard um, but it's just tough to get it's tough to get right and get it clear And I'll show you the ending that I put on, put on it here. And Don uses this ending quite a bit, um, especially in his later years. I don't think I've ever heard him do it with Red Smiley on a record, but he did do it live. And I just think it's one of the coolest endings uh, I've ever heard. Because, uh, to be honest, I think Don was the only one uh, brave enough to do an ending like this. It wasn't, uh, there's no theory behind it. It's just basically just raking the strings all the way up the neck. And um, it's almost like a rock and roll ending that someone would do. But uh, it would go like this. Let's see. Uh... Okay. <laughs> it's, it, I tell you, it's, it's a, it'll really wake people up in the crowd to do that. And all I'm doing is I'm taking my finger and I'm barring across on the second fret and I'm raking my fingers across the string up to this G and then brushing it open. So let's try that again. Uh, there's really no good way to explain it other than I'm just bringing my finger, dragging it all the way up here. And it may sound like it's it's just a simple, you know, just going up the neck, but it is not as easy as you think to get it to sound right. Okay, and it sounds different every time. And I have seen Don go and just keep right on up the neck and ending like that. They get a little wild on stage sometimes. But um, that's Memphis Five String, and uh, it's a good tune, and you should add that to your repertoire there. And uh, I'm sure not many people play it, and they'll be uh, you'll really get their attention when you start out with that tune. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>